It'll be very nostalgic for a lot of people who are able to watch Luke play. You have a lot of detail that's involved. When they decided to do a sculpture of Luke Robitaille, they kind of had a, a signature, you know, pose, signature idea that, that they wanted to go with. They wanted to go with him celebrating. It's an honor for the artists to create something so well known on the, the influence in the society of Los Angeles, you know. For us, it's like a gift. Yeah, right now, it's all in the family. Uh, it's the three of us, Omri, myself, and Itamar, our son. So from the beginning, the process starts with a design concept. And every piece we start, it's all judged digitally in some way or another. And you hone, and you just keep working it. You know, putting the, the figure in motion is a lot of, of what we do at the studio here. It's really very time consuming, very laborious work. The hand of the artist, the art itself, is more the symbolism and therefore the sculptor always creates stronger impact into the sculpting that creates stronger shadows. And the sculpting is about shadows and that's very important. No doubt everybody looks at the face first and if that's Luke or not, and I think we've captured him pretty uh, charismatically. It can be nerve wracking when you're installing a piece because you never know what can come up. During the unveiling, once they drop the, uh, the tarp and you get everybody's reaction, I, th I think that's the best part. I think, you know, that's what we, what we work for. That's, that's the ultimate satisfaction because you really feel the appreciation for what you do. Yeah, hopefully uh, people will love it.